The points P, Q and R have position vectors 3i minus 2j plus 4k minus 2i plus 5k and 3i minus 5j minus 4k respectively. Find the position vector of the point S such that P, Q, R, S is a parallelogram. And the problem is this is actually a three-dimensional problem, but it's best of all, first of all, to look at it as a two-dimensional problem. So just draw a parallelogram in two dimensions. And then as long as you do your labeling properly, so if you call that one P, that will be Q, R, R S, or if you go around the other way, P, Q, R, S. It doesn't matter which way around you go, but traditionally, we sort of go this way. So we're going to go P, Q, R, S, which is anti-clockwise. I'm going to write down the coordinates of each point, because these are position vectors. So the coordinate of this one will be 3, minus 2, 4. Of Q, it will be minus 2, and there's no J, so it will be 0, 5. And then R will be 3, minus 5, minus 4. We're going to add it on this point here, 0. And then we're going to now find the position vector of this point. Now, it doesn't matter these coordinates don't actually look right in 2D. So, in order to... first thing we should note is that RS, this vector here, would be the same as QP if this is a parallelogram. Now, it's very, very important to realise. So, if I can find QP... I also have the vector RS. Now I can find the vector Q, uh, P by doing O, I'm uh, sorry, Q, O, O, P. And it's important that I perhaps do it that way round. I do go Q to P because I'll be going from R to S. So Q, P will be the same as going Q, O plus O, P. Right, if I'm going... Uh, Q, O, I'm going against the coordinates of this one. So I need to change all the signs on the coordinates of this one. So that will be 2, 0, and minus 5. So all the signs change. Obviously, 0 stays as 0. And then I'm going with this one. So it will be plus 3, minus 2, 4. And I find it much easier to do vectors as column vectors rather than writing them like that. Because then we can see that Q, P will be 2 plus 3, which will be 5. 0 minus 2, which is minus 2, and minus 5 plus 4, which is minus 1. Right, now I need to find the vector OS. So going from O to S. Well, another way of going from O to S would be OR plus RS. So OR plus RS. Now over here, I said that RS is the same as QP, and I've just calculated QP. P, so Q, oh, that would be the same as doing OR plus QP. OR will just be going from there to there, so it'll be 3 minus 5 minus 4. And then to that I need to add QP, which is 5 minus 2 minus 1. Then I'm going to get 3 plus 5, which is 8, minus 5 plus minus 2, which is minus 7, and minus 4 plus minus 1, which is minus 5. And finally, I'm just going to write it out in the original format. So OS will be 8i minus 7j minus 5k. Now, I can look at this uh, problem in, in three dimensions. So here it is in three dimensions. So here I've got my points P, Q, R, and then I've got the point I just found S, which is 8 minus 7 minus 5. And you can see that we actually do have actually have a parallelogram here. If I move it around a bit... can see that we do have actually have a parallelogram in three-dimensional space. Okay, so this has been a video to uh, find a the fourth missing point on our parallelogram, in which case this point, and ha using a vector method. And I'll put the GeoGebra app look in the notes of this video. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.